Hello everyone, Dai here, and welcome back to Firewatch. Today we're going to be continuing on with day two. Wake up! Hey, wake up! Wake up? <sighs> okay. I'm awake. I'm awake. I'm awake. <laughs> What's your problem? Our problem. Sorry, our problem. Our that storm problem. knocked out the phone line I used to talk to the service, which means we're cut off. I tried radioing out, and that's not working either. Hmm. I don't really know why that would be the case. There's no backup? The backup is the two-day hike out of here. So, that's a no? It's Apparently. easier for me to send all the lookouts out to check the status of the wire in their areas. Is it Horses easier for you? Hike away. If you find any portion of it down, I can try to get a hold of a ranger and he'll bring someone in to fix it. Okay, hmm. I can do that. Where is it? Survey Remember communication that cave lines. you hiked through yesterday? Yeah, yeah, of course. So, you're gonna want to go back there, go through it, and keep going straight to the north when you come out. Uh, Will do. Thanks, Hank. Okay. It's Henry. Yeah, you bitch. Don't like Hank? No. no. I don't like Hank. It's not my but name. Thanks rhymes with Hank. Mm, no, uh, it doesn't. No. Okay. All right. Wow, Delilah. Oh, okay. So I believe we are supposed to be, yep, surveying the phone lines. Oh, here we go. Got some sort of map here. Escape from two orcs. Interesting. Legend: Treasure chest, tavern, river, goblin cave. Climb check required in a fortress. Lake of Acid. The witch's house? What? Two orcs lair. That's interesting. Halfling village. Well, I guess we should radio in. Hey, there's a map in my tower that I'm pretty sure is not USGS regulation. Um, unless I've unknowingly been assigned to work in two orcs and the lake to the east is made of acid uh that sounds erroneous looks like the previous resident was into fantasy um we're gonna put that there because that's interesting all right let's open this door So we want to go there we are. survey lines north of the canyon. Oh man. Going for a little walk in the forest. Ooh, where are we going? Eh, good enough. Get out of my way, map. Alright, Henry. Let's go for a nice light jog for your early morning. Ooh, it's Very foggy down here. Report fog. Oh, it's actually pretty damn cold out here. Roger that. Warms up fast. The mornings are cold in Boulder, though, right? Yeah, they are. What did you get up to down there? I mean, what's life like? Uh, you know, uh, I, I don't know. Just used to spend a lot of time with our dog, Mayhem. Mayhem? What kind of name is that? He was a German Shepherd, big as a truck. So why not call him Chevy? Because I well, called him we, Mayhem. Uh, we walked out of the shelter and there was some graffiti on a trash can and it said Dicko Mayhem. And um, he walked over and peed all over it and there you go. <laughs> That's a really cute story? It is what it is. <laughs> hey, can you hold on a sec? Uh, sure. 
Just gonna keep hiking and hoping it warms up. Hey, oh. I don't think so. Why, have you? Okay, um... good. No, I don't think he has any idea. I'm absolutely sure. Would you? This All right. Weird. I'll let you know if anything changes in that regard. Who the fuck she talking to? Hey, sorry about that. Anyway, I, I thought about it, and that story is cute. And um, sorry, but but you said we you you owned him with someone. Who was that? Who was who? I I don't think he has any idea. What what was that? Were you talking about me? Uh, what? You left your button pressed or something. Henry, that call was work. I was just talking to... Actually, it's not really your business. Why are you freaking out? I'm not freaking out. Good. I'm gonna go quiet for a little bit. Call me if it's important. Aw, oh, now I can't tell her about my granola bar. She is annoyed with me. She is annoyed with me. Delilah has stepped away. Well, we're just going to do some exploring. Look at these rocks. A blocked trail. I've got an overgrown trail here. Yeah, that'll happen. So I'm screwed when it comes to getting past it? Mm hmm Screwed until you clear it yourself, yeah. Great. Well, if I come across some tools, wow, I'll add groundskeeping bitch. to my ever-increasing list of responsibilities. Come on, Henry, let's go for a jog. You gotta work up the calories you just earned from eating that bar. Nom, 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 nom. Do, 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 do. Dang, look how great this view is this view. <laughs> oh. Shift is not to run, guys. I wonder if we're going to get attacked by a bear. I feel like if we were to get attacked by a bear, that would kind of make this story cool. It would suck, obviously, for us because we got attacked by a bear, but it's still kind of cool in its own regard. How'd this tree get over here? Carabiner. It's steep. What? A tip? Oh, right, we have no rope. Herp derp. I'm at the shale slide. I, I can't climb down from here without a rope. You shouldn't need a rope where you're headed. The climb through the canyon has its dangerous bits, but you should be able to do it without gear. Which way is the canyon again? It's just north of your tower. Oh. Where am I? Wow. Clearly. Clearly I have gone the wrong way, so let's... Oh, well. We can... Look up this clawed up tree again. I don't need to hop over that. I walked around it. Do, 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 do. Really, you can't jump over these rocks? I find that hard to believe. What's this? To Ruby River.
It's really spooky over here. Medicine wheel. Wow, there's an old, um, I think it's called a medicine wheel out here? Yeah, it was made by Crow American Indians hundreds of years ago. There are lots of small ones. Um, have you ever been to Medicine Wheel Monument over in the Bighorns? No, I sure haven't. Well, it's worth a three-hour detour on the way home in August. Uh, neat. I'll keep it in mind. Sure will. So, I'm at the medicine wheel. So, you're near your lookout? Yeah, sure. I'm just wandering around in the forest, and I haven't seen one of the Red Eagle cans for miles. Uh, that's a tough one. Why don't you try getting out of the woods so you can get a better view? Find a vista or a lookout point. Okay, I'll try that. Henry, you walk so slow sometimes. Clear the bush. Clear the bush. What was the purpose of that? Is that me making that noise? I'm totally freaked out. Must be me. What's the point of coming back here? There's nothing over here. I don't even know why you would have that set up in the game. Okay. Well, let's walk up this hill. Maybe we'll go this way. I can, like, hear maybe someone else's footprints? I don't know. It just doesn't sound like mine. Well, there's a fence, so we must be... somewhat going the right way. Ooh, look at the water. map is updated. Oh, I got another note. Ron, really wish the powers that be could issue us radios so that didn't suck ass. Most of the time I'd prefer to keep thing pen, keep things pen to paper, but every once in a while it'd be nice to get a hold of you right away. My sister keeps leaving me messages at the main office, but I don't think she gets it. She gets that I took the job so I wouldn't have to deal with her or mom. I've been sitting at the spot for a while now thinking about what to say to her. But I'm a quarter way through this bottle of fives instead. Miss you, Dave. Alright, Dave. We're gonna keep this letter. What else we got? A chance to die. Jane Err. I know this book. Oh, nothing to read. Throw it in the water. A chance to die. What's this one say? 
The first book in Crime by Numbers, the author of the best-selling Spectrum spy series, One Chance to Die, is a book that started it all. Oh, look, more Neil Black. We'll just put that back. What do we got? We got t old toilet paper. I guess that's handy. this I guess and oh yeah we got that flashlight where are we right now wow we're like real far away So the game doesn't want us going that way. Wonder what's going on between Ron and Dave. And maybe they're secret lovers. What's the point of jumping over all those rocks if I could just walk through the water anyways? <laughs> okay. Uh, whoa, Delilah, the trail I hiked in on, it's, it's, uh, it's gone. What is this, the Twilight Zone? No, there was, a, there was a rock slide. Is there another path out of the thoroughfare? Ah, uh, um, let me think. Oh my god, I guess I'm lucky I wasn't on it when it happened. Yeah, for sure. You know, Super some lucky. Impossible mountaineering. There's not really another way out. So what the hell? We'll fly you out. I mean, sometimes folks get cut off by fire, and we just scoop them up when it's time to go. <sighs> okay. Don't be nervous. Ah, <sighs> maybe I'll just live out here now. Henry <laughs> the Hermit. Henry I'll, I'll the find hermit. myself a baby bear to keep as a pet and live off the land like Grizzly Adams. Oh, I just adopted that turtle. But I don't really want... Okay, so that's blocked. So we can't go any further that way. Hell, just I'm stuck. Okay, there we go. Okay, well. <gasps> A turtle. I'm going to name you Franklin. Is this mine? Holy shit, it is! Interesting. Okay. I 
guess we're supposed to go north. Ooh, that wind last night actually tore up some trees near my tower. I know, right? Ugh, it's out of this world. Now, imagine we had a big fire burning. Yeah. Jesus. It's something else. I've seen a still evening kick up 45 mile an hour winds in no time. If that happens this summer, you'll really be in for it. Super in for it. I don't know if I really want to do that. Hey, I was able to say something to her. Apparently not so much anymore. Ugh. I feel like I'm gonna fall down this frickin' mountain again. Can't really say... I'm super excited to do that. Because I really don't want to. <laughs> God, Henry. You must be in shape. We're in our creepy cave. Okay. What's in here? Nothing's in here because we've already been in here. Oh, yay, we found the pole. Uh, I can see the wire you're talking about. It looks like it's in good shape from here. We'll follow it up to the top of the trail if you can. You can head back as soon as you give me the all clear. Got it. So we really can't reach anyone any other way than these wires? What else do you suggest? Smoke signals? Just seems dangerous. Well, if they don't hear from me for a few days, they'll send someone out, but I'd rather it not come to that. I don't know, the wiring here looks fine. Uh, hey, I found a structure that might have been an outhouse once, I think. Whoa, uh, you don't need my permission to go to the bathroom, but... You know, use abandoned shitters at your own peril. I mean, uh, I'm in the right area? I do believe. Uh, the comms wire runs for quite a ways. Follow it all the way to the top of Beartooth Point, and if it's not damaged, you can loop around back home. Well, we'll hold on to this one as well. Oh, hey, there's a little house over here. One, two, three, four. 
What do we got? Ooh, a hat. Huh. Found an old hat from a Korean war vet. You'd be surprised how many former service members take this gig. Well, makes sense. I imagine if you've been through war, you probably can't get enough silence. Anything I should know about the cabin at the top of this hill? Hello? Okay, then. This is ominous. What did we think was going to be in there? Like, why did he do that so dramatic? Like, like, old trash, burned bed. This is weird. Why didn't Delilah answer us with this? those wires all right let's let's do our mission that's probably enough ass Lord uh, hey I can see your tower suppose that means you can see me yeah well enough You wake up pretty early then, huh? As soon as the sun comes up. Forest Service really frowns on us putting up curtains for some reason. Uh, I just covered my head with my pillow. Seems to do the trick. Wow. The forest could never burn down on your watch. Can you see the communication wires from where you are? I can see the poles, but I have no idea if the wire is in good shape or not. They run a good distance up to a spot called Beartooth Point. You just need to walk along them all the way up there and make sure everything's in ship shape. Yeah, I didn't know that. You told me that before. I'm gonna go check out this supply box. How do I get up there? Apparently I cannot. Uh, I'm still gonna try. Really? This bush is in my way? Maybe I gotta go this way? There we go. Number 302. Copy information. Oh, another letter. Let's read it. July 30th, 1986. Ooh. Dave, hey -o. I got your note about needing to talk. I'm sorry I didn't track you down. Been looking for you all day. Figured you'd be out here in the canyon helping those grad students, but I guess not. I don't even know how I could even help. Anyway, we're co-workers, you know? Amigos professionals. If you need someone to throw back a case with and go time traveling, Ron's your guy. But I'm not great with this, with the life stuff. You get it? Later on, Ron. All right, Ron and Dave. 
What else do we got in here? Just pine cones and some wood. It's another thing about our trees. I guess I should close that. It weirds me out that we don't like relock everything. It seems pointless to put locks on things if you're not gonna relock them. Back up if I do say so myself. Okay. So we gotta follow this wire. Oh, we found some beers. Guess what? What is it? There's a bunch of empty cans up here. Same as before? Yep. These fucking kids. How could these girls be so stupid? Trust me, I never underestimate the stupidity of a drunk teenager. Also, I never underestimate the balls of a drunk young woman, having been one. <laughs> High five, Delilah. <laughs> ah, you're my spirit animal. Uh, yeah, okay, the wire's down here. Okay, good. Any sign of those girls? Did they mess with anything? I'll look around. Well, that's gonna be it for this episode. Got a little lost on our way up here to the phone lines, but that's okay, because we did a little bit of exploring. Got our little turtle named Franklin. And had some weird moments with Delilah. Not really sure exactly what all that means or where exactly it's going to come into play later on. But either way, be sure to like this video and leave a comment down below. Let me know what your guys' thoughts on that phone call with Delilah was all about. Let me know if you guys want to rename my turtle. I like Franklin. Maybe you don't like Franklin. But either way, let me know your thoughts and I'll catch you guys in the next one.